personalities, really. The system doesn't change. The way we practice doesn't change. The way we coach them doesn't change. The people you insert does change. And so everybody talks about change, change, change. Well, the way we're coaching football hasn't changed. You know, the people we're putting, put and that's why you recruit. I mean, I think people need to get over it. I mean, you can only be here four years, all right? That's why you recruit players, and it's called freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, and then they got to move on to go to work, or they got to move on to go to the NFL. I think most people need to get over it. I mean, this isn't the first time that we've lost players. This isn't the first time that West Virginia has graduated players because they're a university, and that's what universities do. We need to move on. You feel like that consistency helps then that, that like you're saying, that the scheme hasn't changed, the way you coach hasn't changed? Do you feel like that? For that 15 years it has. It hasn't changed for 15 years. And this isn't the first time we've had a great group of guys that we've lost. So I don't know what else to say. I've, you know, We're beating the dead horse for that deal. Coach Logan Moore noticed he's been taking reps with receivers. Is that a permanent move for him? It could be. I mean, I'm not sitting here saying that we can't give him some reps at quarterback. You know, we just want we're, – we're thin at receiver. And so we're trying to create some depth at inside receiver. We put him out there a couple times with no reps, with no meeting times because he's been in there with me and he did some good things. So he's never played receiver before. We're just giving him an opportunity right now. I mean, he's an athletic kid. He's a smart kid. He's a competitive kid. And so why not give him an opportunity to get on the field? You know, I mean, right now he was, he was behind those guys, you know, and so – I've talked to him, and Coach Herberson talked to him, and Lonnie talked to him. And the, the thing about that kid is he's he'll do anything to help the team, anything to get on the field. He's a great kid, and he's going to do everything he can possibly do to get on the field inside receiver right now. I, you know, I'm not saying we're not going to use him in the game as an emergency quarterback. Heck, who knows, you know. But I know right now that we have moved him there, you know, so – you know, whatever you want to call it, permanently, where he's in that meeting room, he's doing that. So we just want to, we want to see how he responds to it. Did he approach you guys about that, or was that something you approached him about first? Well, I mean, I, rep I approached him. I mean, I in a in a you know in a different way, really. You know, I mean, I just talked to him about you know what he wants to do, what his plans are, and some people are happy with having a role. Some people want to get on the field. You know, he wants to do whatever it takes to get on the field. And so this is an opportunity for him to, to get on the field, in our opinion. Not to say that uh, in the future we won't move him back, but right now he's done some good things out there. And so, I mean, and with minimal reps, he's never played out there before. And so, you know, I mean, it's, it's from moving the quarterback to receiver with an athletic kid like that, it's not a huge step. I mean, I played my whole career at quarterback, and in my senior year of college, I played receiver. And so, I mean, it, it's just a deal. You should understand the space and understand offenses. So, I mean, he, he picked it up well. The reps he was doing at quarterback, were they split up evenly amongst the other three guys? Talking about Logan? Yes. No, it's split up evenly between Paul and Ford. Okay. How's Eggers' injury affected the offensive line? What did you see out of those guys? And, and what's it like trying to work new guys in there? Man down, man up. You know, I mean, it's, it's going to happen. I mean, um, obviously with Panky. You know what I mean? It's, um, it's football. It's physical. And so we're dealing with young kids anyway. And so when you move kids around, you know, we're dealing with kids that haven't snapped a lot anyway. And so it's just it's growing pains, no doubt. Sometimes it's frustrating. Sometimes it's good. And so, I mean, it's part of spring football. And so it, ideally, would you want it? No. But, I mean, you got, you got a man up, man down deal. And so we, we, don't, we don't flinch when it comes to that. Paul and Ford, in terms of their grasp of the offense, obviously Paul's been here a little bit longer, but have, have you got the sense that they both they both know everything they need to know at this point? It's just a matter of going out and doing it better than the other guy. Do they know what they need to know? Yeah. I would say no. I would, I would answer that as no. They don't know what they need to know. I mean, they, they still make inexperienced mistakes every day. And the only way you correct that is experience, reps. They're even. I mean, there's never been a quarterback race more even than them two. I mean, they're, they're doing the same things good, same things bad. One day, one of them might slightly do better, but to be honest with you, I mean, it's um, it's probably at this point a lot more bad than good. It's just the way it is. I mean, they're they're, they're growing, they're learning, and so uh, to expect them to be at a situation right now where they need to go out there and perform on a Saturday, we're not there yet. And I think everybody understands that we're not there yet. We're dealing with guys that are inexperienced, and so. But it's not the only position we're inexperienced at. We're inexperienced at a lot of positions. So thank goodness for spring ball, right? 15 practices, we'll take it. 
Are we're not in any hurry to get on the field Saturday yet, so let's just let's take the spring practices slowly. Are you disappointed with where they're at at this point? I almost sense like I can hear maybe a little bit like you would hope they'd be a little bit better than where they are right now. I would hope that they would be 100% completions in every period. I mean, you strive to be, you strive leaving the day for perfection. That's what you strive for. And I mean, I don't know if I've ever been 100% pleased with any quarterback to be 100% honest with you. It's just the way it is. And, um, you know, they're not where they need to be right now. And, it, you know, I mean, I'm not, I mean, to answer your question, I don't know exactly how to answer it other than to say I'm not even close to being satisfied with where they're at. So, go back to something. Better.